Good to see you, Jimmy. Would your high school teachers be surprised you wrote a book? Oh, man, they, they probably hope they ain't in it. <laughs> <laughs> Naptown is a part of Indianapolis, or is that the nickname for Indianapolis itself? It is. It's the nickname for uh, uh, Indianapolis. We call it Naptown because people be sleeping on us, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and you're, you grew up in a very rough neighborhood. I did. I grew up on the east side of Indianapolis, and uh, we had some characters in my in my neighborhood. Like who? Know? Give us a couple of characters from the neighborhood. Well, we had a three-legged dog. I didn't know his name, but uh <laughs> there was a there was a guy in our neighborhood named Shoe Poo that used to uh <laughs> you know, he stole a lot around the neighborhood. And one time, <laughs> true story, it was some kids trapped in a fire, and the fire was so so bad that the fire department showed up and told the parents that the fire was too bad that they couldn't go in and save the other kids. So this guy, Shoe Poo, was walking down the street, and he said, what? And they said, yeah, some kids in there. He said, no, no. And the cops tried to grab him. He snatched away from the kids, ran up in the house, everybody quiet, scared, because they was like, oh, man, he going to lose his life. About 10 minutes later, he came out with all three of them kids on his back. Wow. Ma made the fire department look horrible. Yeah. You know? <laughs> the parents, too, by the yeah, way. Yeah, the parents, yeah. So, so he was breathing hard. He said, no. There's some more people in there. And they said, no, it ain't. So they tried to grab him, and he snatched away, and he went back in the house. This time, he was going in there to steal some stuff. <laughs> yeah. I hope he got some stuff. Yeah. He, he seen, deserves he, all the stuff. He, he seen some stuff he wanted <laughs> while he was helping the kids out of the house. <laughs> now, I mentioned that you called 911 on yourself. How did that happen? Well, in what circumstance could that possibly be? Well, you know, before I got into show business, I was in a couple of criminal activities here and there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, you know, I was young, about 15, 16. We had uh, broken a house, you know, me and a friend of mine. And, and this was in the suburbs. We didn't break into inner city houses because there wasn't nothing in them. So <laughs> we broke in a house, and uh, we, we got all the uh, VCRs. This is during the VCR time. We mm -hmm. had VCRs and cable boxes and, and microwaves and stuff at the door. And we was about to leave. The whole time we was there, it was a German Shepherd in the house that wasn't bothering us. Mm -hmm. He was watching us get everything. We was patting him and stuff. So when we got to the door, he started growling. I said, man, what's that? It's me. He said, <laughs> So he chased us. True story, chased me and my friend upstairs. We ran up in a bedroom, man, and didn't know what to do. Um, so I called the police and said, <laughs> <laughs> I broke in somebody's house. Y'all need to come and get me right now. <laughs> Is this McGruff the crime dog? McGruff, or yeah, what yeah. was going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. that is something else. And yeah. the police came and, and yeah. all as well. Yep, all Do you feel well. like comedy saved you from well, prison, really? It really did. <laughs> yeah, it really did. You know, uh, comedy, comedy has really, really saved my life in general because I couldn't keep a job. I didn't graduate from high school. I tried to go to the military, and uh, after I took that ASVAB test, I couldn't get the recruiter back on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, comedy really did save my life, Jimmy. That's and amazing. It did. It saved, and, it, and it, it was a job. I, it was a way for me to make money. A lot of people do are in show business because they want to be. I'm in it because I really need dishwasher liquid and bread and pay my bills and stuff. <laughs> How many kids do you have? I got four kids. I got four beautiful daughters. Four daughters. Four daughters. So what if one of them were to bring home a young gentleman like you were at that age? Would you, would oh, you understand? Man. Well, that really happened. My daughter brought a guy in the house that looked just like me. Oh, boy. <laughs> and I told her, please don't bring me in this house because <laughs> I said, if you anything like I was, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> so, I mean, un unfortunately, man, you know, I, I, you know, smoke a little marijuana here and there, uh -huh. you know, and uh, <laughs> I didn't have none that night, and I was looking at this kid, and I said, I'm going to try something. God, forgive me. I said, you smoke weed? He said, no. Nope. I said, okay. I knew he was lying. Uh -huh. Before I can get to the door, he said, I know who got it. <laughs> I said, oh, yeah. He said, yeah, I know who got it. I said, go get it. I watched him walk out the front door and right back in the house. I said, hey, hold on. <laughs>
<laughs> it sounds like you hit it off. I did. I... <laughs> we did. Son-in-law. Son-in-law. I told my daughter, I, I told my daughter, I liked that one guy that was over here. <laughs> I know when you're doing stand-up, you do impressions, but you also do, and this I did not know, sound effects. Yeah, sound effects. What kind of sound effects do you do? Uh, well, this right here, this is a, a... You tell me what this is. Okay. Dentist drill. No, it's a vibrator. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was doing something wrong. <laughs> no wonder my wife doesn't want any part of me. <laughs> that doesn't go in the teeth? <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> Oh, interesting. <laughs> and reach right over in that door. <laughs> okay, let me guess another one. Let me see if I can get one. Um, squirt bottle. Squirt bottle. Yeah, squirt, yeah, squirt yeah. bottle. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Squirt bottle. All right, see, I did do that one. <laughs> yeah, you did do that one. You know, so... Are there any obs really obscure ones that, like, maybe we wouldn't know? Um, yeah, uh, it would be some that you guys wouldn't know. Uh, this one right here, uh... That I don't know. <laughs> Opening a weed bag, man. <laughs> <laughs> Son in law. Son in law. Son -in -law. Well. Obviously, this is a very funny man, and this is his book. It's called Unsuccessful Thug. It comes out March 27th. Mike Epps, everybody. Thank you, Mike. If you like that video, click subscribe, and we'll be together until one of us dies.